11 Chilling Facts About Our Dark Past 1. Edgar Allan Poe Met a Chilling Fate A few nights before he perished, Edgar Allan Poe was found wandering the streets in a fugue state. Disturbingly, he was wearing someone else's clothes, and as he lay dying, he kept shouting a single word, Reynolds. To this day, we still have no idea who he was talking about. Did this Reynolds have something to do with how Poe ended up in his gruesome state? 2. The Countess with a Vendetta When the Countess of Castiglione's estranged husband started trying to claim custody of her only beloved son Giorgio, the Countess sent him a present in the mail. When he opened it, he was horrified. It was a seemingly innocent photograph of the beautiful Countess in a luxurious gown, but when the Count looked closer, his blood ran cold. In one of the folds of her dress, the Countess was holding a dagger. It was a pointed threat, stay away from my son. 3. There is a mystery in King Tut's tomb. In King Tut's tomb, researchers found an iron dagger that was still sharp thousands of years later. Having a sharp dagger is not strange in itself, but the dagger's origin is quite mysterious. Scientists have tested the metal and determined it came from a meteorite, and the ancient Egyptians most likely didn't have the technology to craft a weapon from meteorite debris. As a result, it either came from another more advanced civilization, or aliens. 4. Victorians had impossible beauty standards Although the hourglass figure has always held a special appeal across Western cultures, the Victorians took their obsession to a whole new level in their use of corsets. These waist cinching devices, while successful in achieving a wasp waist, had some major health repercussions. Besides causing fainting spells, which the era's ladies unsurprisingly became famous for, the restriction on women's lungs likely worsened potentially deadly ailments like pneumonia and tuberculosis. 5. There was a Pirate Queen The Pirate Queen Shinxi had one of the most dramatic lives in history. She went from a worker to a grieving widow to a ruthless pirate, but even after all that, she still saved her most jaw-dropping move for last. In her retirement, Qingxi opened up a gambling house. Oh, and she also traded opium on the down low. 6. Alcatraz played a nasty trick. Alcatraz used to be the only prison where the inmates got to take hot showers. This seems nice, but if you know anything about Alcatraz, you should probably be very suspicious of their motives in giving inmates any creature comforts. In actuality, they just didn't want potential escapees to get used to the cold water in case they tried to swim to shore. 7. A Dead Jockey Once Won a Race In 1923, jockey Frank Hayes suffered a fatal heart attack in the midst of a race at Belmont Park in New York. His horse, named Sweet Kiss, finished first and won the race with Frank's lifeless body still atop. Hayes became the first, and thus far the only, jockey to win a race after passing. The horse never raced again and had the nickname Sweet Kiss of Death for the remainder of her life. 8. The New York City Hoarders In March 1947, New York City police responded to a call about a terrible odor at an apartment in Harlem. When they arrived and opened the door, they were utterly horrified by the nightmare they found inside. Two brothers, Homer and Langley Collier, had been living there, and they were compulsive hoarders. Homer was found crushed under his own junk, but the Langley was still missing. Police sifted through the junk for weeks with no sign of him. Eventually, they found his body, just 10 feet from his brother. 9. Madame Tussaud was a real, horrible person. Madame Tussauds Wax Museum is famous around the world for frighteningly lifelike figures of celebrities. What most people don't know, however, is that the real Madame Tussauds got her start by rushing over to grab heads from the guillotine during the French Revolution. She used these heads to showcase her waxing process. 10. The Most Dangerous Platform Shoes In the name of cleanliness, Venice's wealthy women found a unique way to keep their feet and dress hems clean during the Renaissance era, chopines. These were tall platforms that helped women rise above filth when walking the streets. The shoes got so tall, Chopin wearers eventually required attendants on hand to help keep their balance. 11. The Queen Who Lost Her Beauty 
Near the end of her life, Queen Alexandra of Denmark's iconic beauty calcified into a monstrosity, yet her end was even more horrific. Unable to bear her aging face, Alexandra began wearing elaborate veils and plastering her face with heavy makeup. Cruelly, the fashionistas who once followed her every move now called her enameled. Eventually, a burst blood vessel in her eye left her almost entirely blind. Her memory and speech went next, and when she finally succumbed to a heart attack, she was a mere shell of her once glamorous self. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell to be notified of new videos.